Hey, it's your Wisconsin Wine Guy. I'm back again for another wine review. So that means it must be Wednesday. Happy Wine Wednesday to all those out there. For those who are new, what I do is I select wines that you can find in your everyday liquor store, grocery store, and even some wine shop shelves. And I come home, bring them home, if it's a red wine, sometimes I open the day before, give it a chance to relax and breathe, you know, stretch itself a little bit. If it's a white wine, depending on the white wine, full or light wine, I may open it the same day. So, simple, simple system. Thumbs up. I highly recommend that wine, or I recommend that wine. Three quarters, you know what? I would drink it, and if it's at a party, I would enjoy it. And if it's really good, I may even bring the bottles home. Halfway, meaning, you know, not so much for me, but you give it a try, and then let the rest of us know what you think of it. Thumbs down. Whoa. It's very rare I have some thumbs down, but when I do have them, get that wine out of here. Now. Let's get down to today's wine. So today we're going to be visiting New Zealand, the Marlboro region of New Zealand. This is a 2018, 2018 Sauvignon Blanc from Haymaker. Wow, I'm really looking forward to that. So those who are familiar with the wines from New Zealand, especially Sauvignon Blanc, I mean, it's like their perfect partner. New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc match made in wine heaven. It makes some really good uh, zippy wines, uh, new Sauvignon Blancs in New Zealand. So let's give it a pour and get a look at the wine. So as you can see, I've been enjoying some of this, you know, uh, over time, well, over time of the day. Give it a taste, give it time to breathe, nice and chill. I don't know if you can see the sweat on the bottle. It's pretty warm where I am, so I'm looking forward to trying this, but there's sweat on the bottle. So look at that color. We have a nice golden hue. I don't know if you can tell there, maybe it looks kind of clear in the video, but nice golden hue. Here's my white t-shirt behind. What do you think? <laughs> well, now on the nose, before I even put it to my nose, I mean, you really stick my nose in, you can smell the, the melons and the citrus. There's a grapefruit. Let's stick it in. Ah, wow. Definitely just, just bursting with that citrus and melon notes. Mmm, very tropical, very tropical on the nose. Now for the Ritz. Okay, there's my Ritz. Those that follow me know that I love acidity. If there's no acidity, I might as well drink water. And I also enjoy acidity in a red wine too. It doesn't have to be as, as crisp as it is in a white wine, but it needs to be lively to me in a red wine. So that was the Ritz. Rinse is pretty good. Now here's the taste. Here we go. Hmm. Okay. So, citrus, easy to drink, easy drinking, coming in at 12.5% alcohol, crisp, grapefruit, but not like over the top. It wouldn't be like the red grapefruit, but more like the regular white or yellow grapefruit. Uh, again, tropical tasting. I'm gonna go with, you know, subtle melon notes, maybe a little pineapple, like subtle pineapple. But definitely grapefruit. I think it has a really nice balance to it overall. Uh, I think it'd be an easy drinker. I'm gonna give this a three quarters. You know, that's not I mean to, to go thumbs up, you gotta like blow my mind, but three quarters, because I think it's gonna be it'd be an excellent patio drinking wine. I bet you'd make an awesome sangria as well. But it'd be an awesome patio drinking wine, a good everyday drinking wine, a uh, one that can be shared amongst all people, not gonna be over the top or too low, but just right there in the middle. So three quarters on the 2018 Haymaker Sauvignon Blanc. And I'm gonna enjoy, oh, I think my glass is empty. I know myself, I'm gonna enjoy this on this beautiful, hot, sunny day. And as always, I'm gonna say to you, let your palate be the guide when selecting your Rex wine. And I'll see you next time. Bye.